don't know how many of you lot do this, but uh, on a snowy day, I often look at rooftops to see who's got good insulation. You can tell because uh, the better insulated ones have people living in them, obviously, and um, the snow doesn't melt as quick. So just for fun, I thought I'd take a look at a few buildings uh, and see how they rate on the uh, melted snow front. Uh, let's check out my own house and see how that looks. Um, I'm flying the drone over here to have a look at it. And there's a little bit of uh, melting around the chimney. Um, I think you'd call that uh, not too bad. Uh, and I'm going to have a look at the door. Ooh, now look at the dome. And we see that uh, it's lying nicely on the dome. But there's a couple of places where it's starting to melt rather quickly. That central vent, I'd kind of expect that, but there's a little little bit under the windows. Uh, I had a look a couple of days later and obviously the snow's uh, um, melted. It's just that temperature when the snow's starting to melt a bit. And you can see though that um, there's a fair bit of melt around the windows and that vent at the top. And one or two on, on some of the uh, spars and hubs. The reason for this is uh, cold bridging. I'll do a video on that uh, next probably. Um, you have to be a bit careful uh, just to assume that a build is not efficient because you've got a, some cold bridging. It depends on the temperature inside the building which I've, I have at about 22 degrees so that's fairly warm uh, and it also depends on um, the outside temperature to a degree. If you're at that stage when uh, the snow is getting very wet and just starting to melt um, or any kind of small amount of heat will um, cause it to melt uh, but it, you can see the pattern this all the windows and that vent at the top I'm not so worried about the other bits uh, I think that's just natural melt I did a quick comparison with some of the houses um, took a quick picture on the same day so you, they've all got the same outside temperature and, and um, time to melt and we've got a range of um, good ones which is mine at the bottom seems okay still uh, there's a couple that have got a lot of melt on them once nearly all the snow is gone and the barn at the top ha is completely white <clears throat> but the reason for that is that it has uh, it's a unoccupied barn so it's totally cold inside you do notice that unoccupied buildings um, the snow lies longer on the roof than occupied ones so if you compare the dome to those buildings which are close by um, it doesn't fare too badly I don't think it's got a, a bit of melt a little tiny bit more on the, on the south side um, but it's got a still has a good covering over the whole roof let me know in the comment section if uh, your house is the first to melt in the street or the last one to melt. Um, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.